Hello and welcome to part 8 of why win UAE guide. So today we're going to be talking all about printing. So uh, hopefully you've been following the rest of my videos. Um, if you haven't, check out the playlist uh, for all the previous videos. Um, if you follow all those along, you'll end up with a similar setup uh, to this um, as of uh, chapter 7. So today we're going to look at printing. So if we press F12, I've got my uh, A1200 hard drive configuration already loaded up. What we're going to do is we're going to look under host and then IO ports and we're going to set up a printer. Now there's two printers, two types of printers that we can enable. For this example, I'm just going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF. So what this is going to do is produce a PDF. Uh, what you'd do is you'd select your real printer that you've got connected to your Windows machine. Make sure that that printer does work in Windows first um, before attempting to uh, print anything from WinUAE, just to make sure that everything's working. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF. And then there's different types of ways of accessing uh, this printer. So uh, there's the Epson Matrix printer emulation, or uh, referred to as Epson Q, which is a very popular uh, printer driver that was found on a lot of versions of Workbench and the Amiga operating system. And the other alternative, which tends to produce much better print results, is a PostScript. And for that, you need to have GhostScript installed on your on Windows. So I'm going to choose PostScript for the moment, emulation GhostScript required. And in order for this to work, we need to download one thing off the internet we need to go to ghostscript.com forward slash download and you need to download and install uh, either the 32 or 64 bit. It's most probably the 64 bit version if you're running Windows 10, um, but uh, just double check what version you're running and install the appropriate um, architecture. So once you've got that all installed, so you click on the Go, uh, GhostScript AGPL release, uh, download and install that, come back to here, and then make sure that PostScript, uh, GhostScript required is selected. Excellent. So if we go back into our emulation, um, I've got uh, Final Writer installed on here. Uh, I took it off of uh, one of the Amiga format cover discs uh, from 1996. Uh, so if we load that up and I'm going to open up one of the test documents, we've got a Jaguar document, a lot of text, nice picture as well, good example document. So because I've chosen PostScript, uh, what I need to do is I need to make sure in the Amiga application that I am printing to PostScript. So uh, by default, you can see here printing to a graphic that is going to use the Epson driver at the moment. So I need to change that to PostScript printer. There we go. And then I can choose some options here. This is specific to Final Writer. Uh, let's say we want it in color and it's A4 size. Click on OK and then I want to print. But before I do that, I'm just going to quickly pop out of the emulation by pressing the uh, middle mouse button or the scroll wheel. And what I'm going to do in Windows is I'm going to type in Control Panel. go to view devices and printers I'm going to find my printer there we go close that down so that we can just see what print jobs are happening 
so you've got a visual representation of what's happening on my machine. So back in the emulation, um, I want to uh, print. So if I click on print, see there's a progress bar and then hopefully in the bottom right hand corner, you should see a print job appear on Microsoft Print to PDF. Okay, so this looks like it's working. So this is now um, Windows asking, okay, do you want to save the PDF? At this point, if you've got it connected to a real printer, it will actually be printing. So I'm going to call this Jaguar. As you can see, there we go. There's our print job going. And there we go. There's our final output. And here is our printed document. And as you can see, this is very good quality. Color looks really good. Okay, so there's some other options. What if we don't have the option of PostScript? Well, what we can do is uh, if we hit F12, rather than select PostScript, we can go to Epson Matrix Printer Emulation 48 pin. Workbench, I'm going to go into Storage, uh, Printers, show all the printers. What you may need to make sure is that there's a printer called Epson Q Plus and drag it into Devs and Printers. So if we look in here, you'll see that I've already dragged Epson Q Plus into here. So once that's done, uh, we go to Preferences, go to Printer, select Epson Q Plus, and then make sure that's on single feed. Uh, we are going to use DIN A4 click use okay and then we're going to go back into final writer select our document again then go to print make sure that we're on graph graphic final then under settings graphic, uh, we've got the Epson Q plus driver selected there. If it's blank, then it's not going to work. You need to make sure that Epson Q plus is there and selected. So you might need to go back into preferences and printer and just make sure you've got that selected. Uh, so I'm going to use grayscale for this. Okay. And then we're going to click print. Now this will take some time. It is slower than PostScript I've found. Um, there's a progress bar that will slowly go up. And I'll probably speed up the video so that you don't have to wait for this. There we go. And we've got our save file. So if it was a real printer now, it would actually start printing. So I'm just gonna call this file JAG2. And as you can see down here in Windows, um, it is now spooling and uh, starting to print my document for me. If I try to open up JAG2 PDF at the moment, you'll find that the file's corrupt. Um, it's only until that disappears out of your print queue, then that file should be openable. And there we go, we've got our document. Now, if we do a quick comparison, if I move that to there, and then um, let's do Jaguar 1. Uh, it's not opening up in, uh, there we go, we've got tabs at the top. So remember, this is the nice uh, PostScript version, looks really nice. And this is the Epson driver. As you can see, the quality is not as good. Obviously, sort of we've gone to grayscale, but you can see there's a lot of dither in the image and the text is not quite as sharp. 
um, as the postscript. This is the postscript version version here. So um, that's printing in um, Final Writer, which is uh, within Workbench. But what if I've got a program that uh, doesn't boot straight into Workbench? Well, a good example that I can show you is a program that I used to use as a kid quite often on the Amiga. I don't know if um, you would remember this one from your childhood. Um, and it's called Paint and Create. It was some educational software that was developed by uh, Europress. And uh, one of the things that we can do here is we can make some greeting cards. So with this, basically you had the different pages. So this is the front page, left, right, and the rear page printed by Paint and Create from Europress Software Limited. So if we go to the front page, we've got our tools here. So we can choose text if we want, picture, and basically we can then move the mouse cursor over. If you right click, you get different uh, different things. So let's try and find, um, we've got Halloween coming up soon. Uh, let's put a picture of Ted on there. And then if I click over there, a happy Christmas one, give us uh, some text. I right click, keep on going, happy Halloween, there we go. So if I select that, there we go. And then um, what you'll find is with this program, uh, there's no postscript option. So what we need to do is make sure that uh, if we press F12, go to IO ports, uh, just make sure that we're still on that Epson matrix printer emulation 48 pin. And then when we go to print in this application, um, you change the printer here. Somewhere in here is going to be a Epson Q. There's our Epson Q. There we go. And say, for example, I want to print an outline of this greetings card. So it pauses for a moment and then hopefully, there we go, we've got. Now what's happened here is that there's two pages that are gonna be printed out. So we're getting two dialog boxes. So don't stress too much if suddenly you get loads of progress, um, uh, open dialog boxes showing. So if I just choose this as, I think this was card two, I'll save that as card one. Remember, we need to make sure that there's nothing in the queue before we try opening our files, nothing in the queue, so it should all be printed. If I go to card one, open that up, and if I go to full page, then there we go, look at that. We've got our greetings card, that's one page, and then, uh, didn't put anything in the middle of my card so that's just printed out loads of blank but there we go so that's printing from uh, a program that um, doesn't use workbench so hopefully you found this useful um, the main key things are if you can print uh, if your program allows you to print in postscript I recommend using that and then just going into uh, F12 and go into host IO ports and then choosing the postscript emulation ghost script required. If your program doesn't use postscript, then the other option is the Epson matrix printer emulation. And then from when within your Amiga application, just make sure to select um, Epson Q as your driver and you should be all good to go. Right, well thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.